Hi, and welcome back to more Mario Sunshine. On the last episode, we finished off all of Rico Harbor, so today, let's go unlock the next stage and play some Gelato Beach. It's right over here, though. This is on the complete other side of the map. Over there was the west side. Let's go to the east side. Even though, guys, west coast is best coast. I'm sorry. So, we have yet another of these guys. Third time's the charm, right? I think this might be the last one, actually. It's the only one I can think of. But pretty much the same as before. Just spray his mouth when it's open. The crud, there's a blue toad hidden in there. How dare you capture blue toad? He's the best one. So, before I was wondering where blue toad is, he's right there. It's okay, I know exactly what to do once we save blue toad. So we hit him three times, he goes down. But he comes back up for round two. This time he spawns a bunch of little enemies. We can just do some kind of mega splash to take care of them. Get this guy. Hey, there we go. Open your mouth. Thank you. These guys are coming for me. Run away, Mario. Yo, the music changed. They got too far. The crut? Hold on. Hold on. Let me lure this guy over here. I think they just explode when they get far enough away. That was weird. Come here, buddy. Come here. What? The <laughs> I guess these are death tiles for them? Well then. Let's just finish off this guy. That was bizarre. I've never seen that before. Wait, did I just reset the fight? Ah, oh, crud. Okay, let's try that one again. Wake him back up. Oh, that was it. One more hit. Okay. Cool. So I wonder what was hiding under there. An entire lighthouse. How does that work? I have no idea. Hey, come here, buddy. Come here. I know you can't get me. What? Okay, this one's magical. That one was immune to the death tiles. That's not okay. Blue Toad, I'm so sorry they had you captured. I've come to save you. No problem, Toad. Okay, let's go inside Gelato Beach finally. Oh, man. Blue Toad, he's actually really good in Super Mario 3D World, the new Mario on the Wii U. He just runs really fast, and he's super fun to play. But anyways, we have the first shine of Gelato Beach. In the Japanese version, this is actually called Mama Beach. I don't know if it's referring to actual mothers or if, if they call Gelato Mama. I don't know. But this one's pretty simple. Basically, on these beaches here, there's these little things you can spray. These little sprouts coming out of the ground. And if you fill them up with enough water, they will turn into giant swirly sand. What the? Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, man. That did not look like a good way to die. At least it was quick, I guess. But anyways, you spray those, things will pop out of the sand. The one we're looking for- Hey! He must be mad at me because I killed his brother. Anyways, the one we're looking for is this one. Let's spray that. And it pops up a sand castle. So now we just gotta go over to that. There's a giant arrow letting us know we have to go inside. And bam! We go to the next section without flood. This time we have these blocks. You stand on them, they kind of disappear, I guess. Because gravity doesn't affect them until Mario touches them. I have no idea how that works. But that's just how it is. Thankfully, we have a couple blocks here which do not fall apart. So if you want to take a break, there you go. You can have a, a cup of tea or something. Ooh, just got to make it all the way to the end here. There we go. Yeah, this is actually a very short one. We're almost done already. Just got to get up to this sandcastle top here. And we made it. Very easy one. Probably the easiest one so far, I would say. Maybe if you have trouble with the sand blocks, that might be a bit of a, a problem, but not a big deal. So we're up to 15 shines, the highest number possible. Well, not really. Maybe? You know, last episode, I finished off all of Rico Harbor. I wonder if I'll be able to do all of Gelato Beach this episode. I can't remember how long all of these are, but maybe we could do it. There's a couple really long ones, but there's also some really short ones. Episode 2. Okay, this is one of the most annoying shines. Each stage has a couple annoying shines. This one is one of the annoying ones for Gelato Beach. And you'll see why. This guy has to tell us. Oh no, there's a giant worm on top of a ball in the sky. Nothing worse than a ball worm. So for some reason, and this might be because last episode I killed off their brother, these guys are walking around on top of giant mirrors with plunger feet. Where did they get the plungers? How did they put the plungers on their feet when they don't even have arms? I don't know. 
but you don't ask these questions. All we need to do is get up on top of the mirror and take care of them. If they would... Gosh dang it, they moved it. How dare you? I'm gonna grab this coin just to spite you. All right, let me spin jump to get enough height. We got three of these guys. So we just gotta spray them all back. If you didn't... If you couldn't tell already, then Flood tells you for you. So we hit these guys, ground pound them off, and that'll do it. Now we have two other mirrors to take care of. That one has three, the other ones have two and one. So I guess in a way that was kind of backwards order, but I don't know, I seem to always start with that one. So as Flood tells us there, two areas left. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one over here. This one has the the two. Let's see if I can get up on this tree. There we go. And you want to try to get to the side where they're not walking. That way you have to spray the least amount to push them to the edge. There we go. And we got it. There's one left. Now the reason this one's annoying, I mentioned it as a trolley shine, is that these guys can be pretty random. And sometimes they just will not cooperate. And you just have to sit there spraying forever to get them taken care of. It looks like this time they're being pretty nice to me though. Yeah, that was really fast. There we go. That's it for that shine. I sure hope we don't kill Wiggler. Actually, for the Mario universe, Wiggler is my favorite enemy. I think he's really cool. And he... He just falls apart and dies. Whoops. Man, we've just been killing everyone today. We killed the giant slime guy. We killed one of those Quackalax. We killed the Wiggler. We're just on a rampage. Don't wake that guy up. He's sleeping. But we did save a blue toad. So, we did some good, I guess. Bam! Up to 16 already. I didn't even know that was possible. Jeez. If you guys noticed, on back in episode 1 on the menu screen, I had 120 shines on both of my other files. Those are actually the only two times I've ever 100%ed this game. I'm very used to just playing the required shines. I've beaten it probably 50 times just getting the stuff you have to and only twice getting everything, so I don't know that much about a lot of the optional shines, but I'm pretty knowledgeable about the main ones. Hmm. That crow- hey, bro, we just killed you! How are you back? Yeah, somehow, I guess this guy can regenerate. He's like the Wolverine of bugs. Get up! No, yes, okay. So all you have to do for this guy, you spray those dunes, the dune bud things, and it pops up the sand, knocks him over, and you hit him. Now that was a little bit slow there, so normally if you hit him just right, you can know where he's going to go next. I took a bit long there, so I have no idea where he's going to go. Where are you going? Over there? Okay, this is good. Oh, you're coming back. Let me spray this thing again. Hopefully that works. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. This is the classic three-hit style Mario boss. You gotta hit him three times to win. So this is hit number two. In the meantime, let's go say hi to these people. Hey guys, you just staring at that flower? Yeah? Let's go ahead and spray that. <laughs> oh crud, we just knocked them way up. Okay, where's Wiggler going? He's way over there. Come here, Wiggler. Oh, he's going back to the first one. Wait, spray it again, spray it quickly, quickly. Go on, get him. Uh, okay, it looks like he likes this side a bunch. Let's see if I can just spray the same one as before and get him. This is a bit awkward, I... Okay, okay. Get it? No? Okay, I'm just gonna go where I normally go, which is I... I do this one right over here. Yeah, he's walking right over this one, so this is gonna be the, the dune bud to spray, I think. Yeah, that was a bit of an awkward start. I wasn't sure how it was going to play out. Looks like I should have just played it as normal and gone for this. I sprayed it way too early there. Missed my chance. Come back, Wiggler. All right, just got to be patient. He's coming back. He's coming back. Spray, spray. I think I got him. Boom. Just got to get over there. All right, good. Sometimes if you're very... Ooh. Oh, dear. Get up there. Alright, sometimes if you're very unlucky, he'll fall in just a way, so the part you have to hit is underwater. And if it's underwater, you can't actually hit it, so it can be kind of bad. 
bit of a rough fight there, but we got him. Let's go grab that shine. What is this guy doing? Why are these guys just all standing around staring at dune buds? I don't even know. I guess they're just obsessed with those buds. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to finish off all of Gelato Beach in this episode, but I know which one I want to get to. I want to get rid of one of the other evil shines in this stage, and you guys, if you've played the game before, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you've never played it, you will see. Let's get back in there. Blue Toad, look how fast he runs. Look at this guy. Gosh damn. Mario, please, what are you doing? Oh, what are you sad for? Okay, so he's reasonable. Blue, Blue Toad has empathy. He has feelings. Peach is kidnapped. And Blue Toad actually has... He's scared about that. The other Toads are just happy and jolly all the time. Ah, here's the shine I was looking for. The Sandbird. Oh, yeah. I've beaten this one enough times where I think I can do it on my first try. But... Mostly the shine can just be a little bit boring. And you'll see why. Jump on this guy with the crazy mustache. Yes! So, now that the plunger guys are no longer on these uh, mirrors here, we can just walk on top of them. And I'm just gonna hover right over here. Oop! Oop, oop, oop! Let's try that one again. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna miss. Alright, let's try that again. There you go. You can also jump on that spring that was just behind that, but I find this a bit easier. Alright. So we have to ride on top of this giant bird made out of sand blocks. Thankfully, these sand blocks don't actually disappear like the ones in the secret mission. But we just have to run around and collect these red coins. If you see these uh, dust clouds of sand there, those can actually push you back. So you have to be very careful if you're walking on a very thin platform. There's also blue coins floating around in the clouds. Because I'm not doing 100%, I'm not going to bother with those. But those can be quite annoying to grab. Let's grab this one. Turn back around. Yeah, you can use your first person camera to get an easy way to turn around without risking walking off the side. There you go, I'm getting pushed a bunch by that sand cloud. Okay, you can stop flapping, bro, please. Now here's the hard part. He's gonna flip sideways, and we have to very carefully transfer to the side. There we go. It's not that bad once you know what you're doing, but that one can kill you quite a lot if you're a new player. So now we just wait. I've gotten all seven coins that are on him. The eighth one is not actually on top of him. Looks like he's flipping back. There we go. And now we wait. You could collect the blue coins, I guess, just to pass the time, but... Eh, it's fine. So what we're trying to do is actually get on top of that tower there. We just gotta wait until he goes high enough. He's slowly climbing upwards. I'm not sure why there's yellow coins here. Normally yellow coins will heal damage if you've taken damage, but... What's really going to hurt you here, I guess? I don't know. And there we go. We made it. So let's grab the final red coin. And that is the last evil shine of Gelato Beach, which I'm kind of surprised we did so easily. I can do some more. Let's do some more. We can do a couple more shines, at least. I don't know if we'll do all seven. Uh, someone was requesting I do the eighth mission in this game. It's an optional one where you have to do something with a giant watermelon. I will be doing that, but I think that's going to be next episode. So I hear you guys requesting uh, various shines. I've written them down, and I will try to include them here and there if I have time for them. But for this episode, I think we're just going to do number four and five. I think that'll be a good stopping point. Piantissimo Sand Sprint. This one is very easy. Probably the easiest shine in this stage. All right, all we got to do is go and talk to this guy here. Go through a little bit of dialogue. And he's pointing out a flag here. Basically, we're going to have a foot race. Or, I guess, in our case, we could just hover there. But we're going to race to that flag. He says his record is 35 seconds, so we have to get there in faster than 35 seconds. I'll be using lots of sliding here just to make it a bit faster. And diving, of course, is always faster. Let's see if I can do that. Do this in under 20 seconds. Going to dive a bunch. There we go. 15.55. Now the downside is we just have to stand around and wait for him to come back. Something you could do in the meantime is you could look for a blue coin right up there. There's also these blue birds. Uh, most of these birds are green, but if, the, if you see a blue bird, you can spray it and you can get a blue coin from it. 
Not seeing any of them right now. Now there's one over there. But it looks like this guy's back. Let's talk to him and get our shine. What is that sound? Hold on. Listen closely. Oh, is it this guy? You can't really hear it now, but he was playing some music. It was like the jingle from Mar uh, Super Mario Bros. 1-1 or something. But anyways. Let's do one more shine. One more. Let's go. Get it up to 20. That's a good stopping point, I think. Was that shine 4 or 5? I think that was 5? Hmm. You know, if that was 5, and I'm doing 6 now... Let's just do all 7. Why not? I'll come back in next episode to do 8, but let's just do up to 7 here. Might as well. So red coins in the coral reef. This one actually can be a bit annoying as well. I thought we were past the evil shines, but this one has a little bit of a troll. Not too bad, but it's a, an odd piece of game programming, I guess. So all we have to do is collect red coins. You've seen me collect red coins before. The difference with this one is that it's underwater. So we have to go over to this coral reef here. I'm going to do a, a different technique here to travel a bit faster through water. You jump out and dive to gain some speed. And all we have to do is go through these mazes here and collect red coins. Now here's the troll part. There are these schools of fishes, and they have red coins with them. There's two packs that have red coins. Let's see if I can get this quickly. Come on. Don't come away from me. Get back here. Come here. Got it. Okay. Now the reason those ones are trolls, two reasons. One, they can go underground. The coin can go underground. Two, the coin can go inside these rocks here. If they go inside, obviously you can't get it. I just saw the second school of fish in the background swimming with it, with the second red coin. But let's just grab a couple of these. Okay, there, it's right there. Do not go inside that rock. Come on, come on. Get back here. Ugh. Oh, fishy, fishy, go away. Stop chasing me. I just need this red coin. Thank you. Okay, he's nice. Got it. All right, so they were running away from me a bit, but not too big of trolls. If they went inside the coral reef, I would have had to wait to, for them to come back out before I could grab them. But let's just get this. Get down there, Mario. All I'm doing is pressing B to go down and A to go up. It's pretty simple swimming controls. Let's see. One here. Just two more to get. This one can be a, a bit tricky if you don't know where they all are, but I, I've kind of memorized them all over the years. There's always one that I forget where it is, though. See if I can remember it this time. Yep, I think I got it. There's one here, and there should be the last one right over here. Yep, cool. Got it. And that's going to be it for episode six. Episode seven, the same as all the other stages, is always a Shadow Mario mission. So we'll just have a fight with Shadow Mario, and we'll call it a day. Let's grab this. All right, so I guess we're not going to end at 20. We'll end at 21. Cool. You know, the good thing about this episode is I'm not failing that much. Well, I'm failing some. But I'm not failing in ways that I have to actually cut things out so I don't have to edit. That's like the reward. If you play good, you get to be lazy and don't have to cut things out. It gives you a good incentive to play good. Alright. Now this Shadow Mario mission I can't do as quickly as I did the last one. The Rico Harbor one is definitely the fastest. It only takes like five seconds. You guys were timing it for me. Some people said five seconds. Some said nine seconds because you have to wait for the shine to spawn. But anyways, this one's definitely going to take longer. But I'll do my best. Come here. Oh, he's doing spin jumps now. He's using all the techniques that we have. Let's get up here. I think he's going to jump up here. He does. That was actually pretty fast. That's maybe the fastest I've ever done that. All right. Well, let's mess up the camera here. There we go. All right, so that's it for the required shines from Gelato Beach. I will come back, like I said, to do episode eight. But man, that was, uh, that was a lot of progress. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I will see you tomorrow.